Hi folks, this is the old dude. Just got back from a second hunt of the day. Decided to go to a place at C. John 455 and I had went to. It was actually the very first place that he door knocked on when I was with him. And uh, that day, I think I got three silvers and he got a war nickel, a silver war nickel. We did pretty good. He got a really nice pin at this place too, but a thunderstorm came up that day it was raining we were very hot it was really humid it was lightning so i was pretty certain that we probably went a little fast over the last bit of the yard so i thought i'd go back today and give it another shot and glad i did no silver today but i did get a couple of indian heads i haven't looked at dates yet but it's uh Looks to be like probably my very best Indian heads. At least I can, pretty sure I can get a date off these. There is some detail left on them anyway, so we'll see what we got here. Don't know how well this is going to pick up any detail, but as you can see, that one's definitely an Indian head. That one I can't see too much of, but the reef says it's an Indian head on the back. That one I can see the Indian head, so if I can do this and hold the camera too. That one looks like 1890 maybe. And this one, not too sure. I may have to use a toothpick on it. Let me see about this one. Okay. That one is 1890, like I thought. And this one, this one's gonna have to have some toothpicking done on it. Just can't make out so bad. The, the reverse side is pretty darn good. But the front, where the date is, of course, is a little toasty. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Um, those are the best finds of the day. Got a um, nice old wheat. I can't really see what the date is on that. I'll have to get back to you on that one. And another wheat. That one I can't really tell either. I'll get back to you, but not sure what this little thing is. Looks like it could be some nice little pin buckle or something. I'll clean everything up, get back to you once I do, and show you what I got. Thanks for looking.